What is up, good people? Jungle Link here. Hope you're doing well. Been a long day. Want to do a quick video. A lot of craziness in the banking sector today. Before I get into it, you may be hearing rumors that Citizen Bank collapsed. It's not. It's Citizen Bank of Iowa. Uh, you know, the bank has about $60 million in assets, a little more than that. Very, very minor institution. But outside of that, there's still some craziness with the big banks. We see customers at J.P. Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo Bank of America, and a bunch of other institutions. They were supposed to get their deposits, their direct deposits from work today, and, well, it's been delayed. And it just shows how fragile our system is. Now, a lot of people are running wild. Is this uh, some sort of cyber attack? Could be. Wouldn't put it uh, out of the realm of possibility with everything going on. Uh, you know, is it a banking collapse? Probably not, something like that. But their answer was really goofy here. We say, well, it's a glitch attributed to human error. They claim it touched less than 1% of daily ACH network volume. I don't know about that. It seemed to be more widespread than that. And I'm not sure that, you know, this human error caused this big problem. Either way, there are a lot of people that were disrupted today, uh, problems with their money, didn't get their deposits, unable to send money out of their accounts. Make sure you keep some cash on hand. So if you get hit with something like this, you can still operate and have some spending money. Always important to remember that. Now, big uh, announcement uh, for Ripple, big court case for the SEC lost. We see Stuart Alderati saying another loss this week for the SEC. The streak continues. Gary Gensler just losing left and right. Isn't that wonderful? We see the Second Circuit in the SEC versus Govil, I guess, held that the SEC can't ask for crippling disgorgement award without first proving that investors suffered actual financial harm. That's going to be tough to do in the case of Ripple. If we time travel all the way back to those early investors, well, they bought XRP six tenths of a cent, one cent, five cents. And, uh, you know, all the way up till about 2017, the price is very low. And even post that, most of us that were buying in 18, 19, 20, you know, we were buying, scooping up XRP at 20 cents, 30 cents, maybe even into the 40 cent range for most of our buys. Uh, so it's going to be hard to show we've uh, suffered financial harm when most of us, even today, after all the damage the SEC themselves have done, are still in the green, you know. Going to be pretty tough here for the SEC to go after massive penalties if this thinking holds up. Once again, Gary Gensler loses, and we got to love that. XRP approved for Dubai, and by Dubai's Financial Services Authority, approved to be used in payment systems uh, alongside of Bitcoin, uh, Litecoin, Ethereum, and I think one other. Just shows a lot of uh, other areas are thinking deeply on you know, how to regulate this space. And once again, XRP is at the top of the list of approved cryptos. That should tell you something. I'm still hearing a lot of people stating, you know, Ripple is headed for IPO. I agree they are headed there. I think it's just a timing thing. We're looking at a few more, uh, you know, maybe 12 months, maybe a little longer. Not great timing in general for IPOs. We're still a little bit in a, a crypto bear market. I don't think a lot of people will be trying to buy, uh, you know, Ripple stock at this point in time. But they could build out their liquidity hub business and some of the other things. And of course, on-demand liquidity continues to have record-setting growth. I think they'll be in great position to IPO. I just don't think now would be the time. It's a one-shot uh, here to try to raise capital. And I would not want to do it at this point in time. I think they have a little more building to do, but they are getting close, that's for sure. I think this is funny. All these supposed uh, you know, expert investors, hedge funds, they were fooled by Sam Bankman fried but a jury of very regular people saw right through his nonsense and uh, found him guilty on all counts. You know, how can all these very sophisticated people uh, talk to SBF and not see it, uh, but the jury can see right through his nonsense? And of course, he is guilty. We all know that. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of people saying, you know, he may be looking at 100 years plus for the amount of damage he did, and he should get it. You know, this is just reckless behavior, and I hope he gets the maximum uh, they can give, which is about 114 years. I saw some people say, well, he didn't harm anyone uh, physically or something like that. Uh, man, I mean, you're talking about billions of dollars gone. Uh, you know, that's right up there, and I'm sure people were harmed both physically and financially by his uh, silliness. Lastly, Elon Musk, I think he's over in the UK giving a talk. He is concerned that AI will render all jobs obsolete. I'll tell you this, uh, I think it's a question of timing. I'm not saying it's going to happen tomorrow or a year from now, but uh, you know, machines uh, have replaced us for a lot of our work already, a lot of physical labor. 
And now we're getting into the thinking and the analyzing and the creativity. There's just not going to be a lot left that we're going to be able to do better than machines. We're going to have to reimagine what the world will look like. Uh, I don't think it's all doom and gloom, but this transition uh, will be quite violent and quite painful for a lot of people. And if you remember that period where maybe your grandparents or you know, people that are a little, little older, when we transitioned to this uh, you know, society like we have now where everything's done online, they were left behind. They didn't know how to function. Now, nowadays, everyone has cell phones. Everyone has a computer in their pocket and knows how to use it. It wasn't like that for a while until we just onboarded everyone. And so AI, cryptocurrencies, there's going to be a transition period where people don't understand what's going on and they'll be left behind. Uh, and it's not a fun process, really. But we're going to go in violent fashion into the future. There's no stopping artificial intelligence. There's no stopping blockchain. There's no stopping progress. That's just life, people. You can sign all the letters you want. You will not slow it down. Let me know what you think down below. And as always, please like, please subscribe. The revolution will be televised right here on Jungle Link.